Hello, my name is Marina Bajadai and I'm a researcher at Lancaster University. I'm here to present you with a study of infants information seeking in referential uncertainty. In this study, we asked how infants respond to a situation when they are uncertain about something they would like to know but don't know, like being asked an impossible question. Which one is the blicket? How do they communicate with others when they don't know something they really want to know but unable to obtain independently? And whether they recognize when someone is a more knowledgeable source of information and better suited to help them? These are the questions that drove our experimental research design. Infants were invited to the research laboratory, fitted with a head-mounted eye tracker, sat across the caregiver and introduced to two unfamiliar adults. An informant, reliably providing object labels to familiar and novel toys, such as saying, this is a dog or this is a moody. And a non-informant, providing social engagement cues such as making eye contact and speaking in child-directed speech, but lacking knowledge about object labels. As these adults played their roles to familiarize infants with who is who, infants paid equal attention to both, thus successfully encoding their respective competence status. Then came the crucial test phase of the study, when the caregiver presented two novel objects and asked the child to locate a novel referent among them. The behavior we were interested in was social referencing, defined as generating a look at another person in search of information. This is what it looked like. Which one is the Toma? In such situation of high uncertainty, infants were more likely to reference the informant than the non-informant. That is, at test, the proportion of first and total looks at the informant was significantly larger than the proportion of looks at the non-informant. But there was a chance at other phases of the experiment when infants did not face such referential uncertainty. These results suggest that 12 months olds reliably identify and selectively seek information from more knowledgeable adults specifically when lacking information and unable to obtain it independently. Importantly, they accomplished this before being able to formulate questions verbally and using communicative cues such as social referencing, which was only previously connected with seeking emotional cues from others. This early developing ability, pairing curiosity and social learning cognitive mechanisms, is behind complex social exchange of knowledge. I hope you find this paper of interest and I would like to thank all the families who came to our baby lab and took part in our research, the research assistants that helped us code and uh, analyze the data, and our funders.